Creating your first post on Plan is easy. Let's get started. In the right-hand corner of your Plan workspace, select Create Post. Now select your platform. If you want to post across multiple platforms, select each of them here. If you still need time to decide, don't worry. You can cross post later. Select Start Creating. Now let's add some content. Select the plus button to add media. There are a variety of ways to add content into Plan, but we'll touch more on that later. For now, I'll head to Collections to grab my content. Once I have my content, I'll go ahead and hit Add. Now that my content is ready, it's time to perfect this post. Go ahead and write your caption, although we recommend using our AI caption generator here. We have a tutorial coming up on this later in this course. Add your first comment. Here you can include some hashtags. Again, all of these features we have individual tutorials for, so stay tuned. I'm just here to give you a brief overview of where you can find everything. Tag usernames, search and tag location, add emojis, tag products, and set up your easy link page so you can link this post to your easy link so your audience can easily shop it. And you can also add hashtags. Now that my content is ready, I went ahead and perfected this post. And don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to do everything I did in the upcoming videos. You'll receive a dedicated tutorial on each of these features. For now, I just want to show you where everything is. So I went ahead and used our AI caption generator. This did all the work for me and created this amazing caption about this new swimmer collection that we're launching. Next, I added a first comment. Here we love to add hashtags so they're a little bit more hidden, but they still help boost discoverability for our post. Next, I searched and tagged the location of where this was shot, added some fun emojis, and tag the products so our customers can easily shop this bikini. Now, I'm gonna teach you all of this, like I said, so don't worry. This post is now ready, so let's talk through your scheduling options. If we're not quite ready to schedule this, we can always save it as a draft. Send post notification now means that plan will manually send you a notification, so you're reminded to post it right now. If you want a notification to post it later, you can do custom time and select the date and the time, and then we'll send you a post notification then. However, if you toggle on auto post, this means that plan is going to post this for you. That means you can set it and forget it. If you do post now and toggle on auto post, obviously it will auto post right this moment. But if you want it to auto post in the future, all you have to do is select custom time, select the date and the time when you want it to auto post. Now, these two options aren't highlighted because this is a demo account and so plan doesn't have enough information on our audience. But best times to post and when your audience is most online are the times we've determined are good for posting based on when your audience is most interactive with your content. Make sure to toggle on auto post and select schedule post for each of these as well. For now, I'll select custom time and now select schedule post. We can now see this on our grid with the corner highlighted in blue and an A symbol, which means it is ready to go for auto post. Congratulations, you've just created and scheduled your first post with plans.